life in the big city. The traffic. The noise. Makes you want to escape to this. Except you still get this. But if one man has his way, that might change. Monty Gisborne walked away from the city and a successful career to pursue his dream, to build this, the loon. My concept from the outset would be kind of the idea of a camper on the water where people could live and sleep aboard and travel through waterways and do so under solar power. That was my dream from the beginning. People expect it to be straight, but it's not, and it looks yeah. better when it's not. Yeah, it looks a little nicer. And yeah. so in 2005, he started the Tamarack Lake so Electric Boat there, Company. Basically, the whole loon concept is that of a battery-powered boat. It's a boat that has an electric motor that propels the boat, and the, the electric motor itself is fed by a very large battery. This very large battery, in turn, gets recharged by the sun, and you can plug into shore power and charge up the batteries that way as well. Monty Gisborne is kind of a one-man show. To help build his boats, he farms out some of the key manufacturing to outside sources. I supply to Stainless Outfitters a finished deck. They take that finished deck and pontoons and build and, and fabricate the railing that goes around it, which includes the uprights, the top railing piece, the gates that have to hinge up and down to allow people to get in and out of the boat. Uh, more importantly, they produce the solar canopy, which is the aluminum tubed structure that holds the solar panels. After the boat leaves Stainless Outfitters here, it goes back to my main shop, and that is where basically everything else is bolted down. Selling watercraft in a crowded marketplace is tough. So Monty knew he had to make his boat a real standout. And the solar panels make it just that. The solar panels are actually uh, less wattage than my original first boat. They're about 12 watts collectively uh, less. These new panels that I'm using with the maximum power point tracking technology do not require as much wattage. It's actually, effectively, the batteries are getting more power from the sun than they were before with a lower wattage system. The maximum power point tracking technology is state of the art. The system looks at how much power is being generated by the solar panels, assesses the needs of the eight onboard batteries, then feeds the batteries all the power they can store. The motor in the Loon is a three horsepower electric motor, outboard type motor, that's built by Briggs and Stratton. And uh, although it's three horsepower, electric and gas are, are rated differently and act differently, and therefore it has the um, thrust of a motor much greater than three horsepower. OK, now some of you might scoff at a boat this size only having a three horsepower electric motor. Normally, a 50 horsepower gas motor would power a boat like this. But this boat moves along quite nicely, thank you very much. Presently, we're moving along at about two knots. And right now, all of the energy that's going into the motor to propel us along at that speed is coming from the sun. Instantaneously, right now, the, uh, the sun is actually putting three amps of charge back into the batteries as well as propelling the boat along, which is kind of impressive when you think about it. The sun is pushing us along plus charging up the batteries at the same time. The Loon can very easily reach sailing speeds, drawing power from eight large onboard batteries that have surprising longevity. Even if the sun were to turn off, or if you're traveling at night, uh, this boat can travel over 30 miles on the battery that's on board the boat alone. The boat is really a solar assisted boat, meaning that it can get all of its energy from the sun. The solar panels are above us to do that. But if you wish to travel further, then the sun's able to provide for you on a day-to-day -day basis. You can plug into shore power and augment the sun's energy by plugging in. With only an electric motor propelling this boat through the water, every consideration was made to maximize its efficiency. The propulsion system on the Loon is a quart nozzle, the same system that the Queen Mary II uses today. It's uh, basically it's a ducted fan system, which is far more efficient on a boat that works in subplaning speeds. A quart nozzle is essentially a, a, a tightly fit fan inside of a, a shroud, which causes all the energy from the battery to become thrust as opposed to turbulence. As advanced as the boat is, you don't have to be the captain of the Queen Mary II to sail her. It's a very simple system. Basically, you've got a forward and reverse switch 
you have a speed control here, and then you steer it left to right with a tiller. I can understand why people enjoy sailing. I just think, though, that uh, solar boating is better. It combines the best of sailing and the best of power boating into one form of boating, which, uh, again, has the benefits of both without the negative impacts of either.